So today we're going to demonstrate some of the different elements we use to create sound effects for a radio show. Um, Denny's going to demonstrate um, this wind machine here, which um, I'll kind of show you how it's put together. It's just um, a cylinder here with these slats and then it has a piece of muslin attached to it um, when you just basically lay this over. And depending on how much tension you put on that muslin, um, will determine the type of sound that you get. Let's do another um, outdoor element, and that is rain. Um, so Leslie, I'll have you do that. It's a simple um, rice and plastic bag, and you basically um, sprinkle the rice inside the bag. Next, we'll um, go ahead and we will um, we'll kill somebody. Gunshots, simple things. You, we just use, if you just um, you take a clipboard and quickly flip it, you'll get a, a gunshot sound. Also two boards that are hinged together at the back here um, will also give you um, a gunshot effect. So um, what we'll do is I'll have Leslie um, shoot and then Denny will drop the body, which is just a simple bag of dirt that we, it's about a 25 pound bag of dirt, I'm thinking it is, and, um, I wrap, <laughs> and I've wrapped it up in two giant tablecloths, and Denny is going to drop it onto um, a wood plank on the floor. Oh. Next, we will do um, the sound of horses. You can do them running, you know, at a pretty good fast pace. You can do a nice, just like, you know, just them walking, just a nice, okay. So you control the speed of the horse by the speed of, how, and of uh, clicking the coconuts, how hard you hit them, how fast you go. Footsteps, um, you can do it a couple different ways. Um, you can actually have the actor's step if you want to, but it's a little bit, I think, easier to control when you do it yourself. And then you have your linoleum. This is um, a, a miniature door we had built specially for our troop. Basically took a, a regular sized door and just kind of chopped it down and then made the frame. And again, we typically clamp it down to a table. So it's just that simple door open sound, door closed. There you go. Okay. So, so he basically the thunder goes, then the wind. Um, and his footsteps are going, and um, then towards the end, the rain starts to hit. We'll have the footsteps coming in, approaching the door open. Okay, footsteps come through. Um, we'll do the door close, and then we'll do the gunshots um, and the body drop. Once again, Retro Reactionaries bring you another tale of suspense. <laughs> The air was thick with the promise of danger, and the distant rolls of thunder only increased my feelings of anxiety. The wind was whipping at my face, slapping me with the reality of what was about to happen. Each footstep I took drew me closer to a destiny I did not wish upon my deepest enemy. I could see the lights of the tavern now glowing in the dark sky. The beacon of orange and red blurred my thoughts and made me think of her and the night we met. She was beautiful standing below the tavern sign, the blinking lights reflecting in her black eyes. The thunder was increasing now, warning me that the storm was upon me. Raindrops were just hitting the ground as I reached for the door. It opened with ease, and there she stood, pistol in hand. God, how I loved her, even now as she was about to put a bullet through me. I closed the door, and without even a hello, she fired two shots. I felt the searing pain in my side, but it was nothing compared to the pain of my heart breaking as I realized the second shot was not aimed at me. I was too late. She made her choice. She collapsed at my feet, and just like that, she was gone forever. Her crumpled body lay before me as I slipped from consciousness.